The world's fourth largest crypto exchange FTX recently went bankrupt and all those who had coins on that exchange may be left with nothing. With more and more exchanges following this path, storing your crypto on an online exchange looks like a bad idea. As they say, not your keys, then not your crypto. So in this video, I'll explain how we can transfer any coin from any exchange to a hardware wallet. I will use Ledger Nano X as an example, but this will work for any Ledger device, the S, X or the S Plus. And if you still don't have a hardware wallet, you should ideally have one. Then you can use the link in the description below to get a 10% discount. First, I'll show you how to do it from the desktop and then later with the mobile. So let's get started. To do this, you need to already have an account with a crypto exchange and some tokens stored. Here, I will show how to send Bitcoin from my account in Binance and Coinbase to my Ledger Nano X. But the steps are similar for any other exchange and token. The second prerequisite is that you are done with the setup of your Ledger Nano device. If you haven't done that, then you can watch this video, do it first and then come back here. Sending and receiving crypto involves just three steps. Get the address of the receiving wallet, provide the address to the sender, and then click on send. To get the receiving address from your hardware wallet, connect the device to the laptop using the provided USB cable. Now open the Ledger Live Desktop app. You can install the app from the official Ledger website if you don't have it on your computer. Now go to the section My Ledger to connect to the device. There'll be a prompt on the device to allow the Ledger Manager. Approve this by pressing the left and right button simultaneously. Now head back to the App Catalog section in the Ledger Desktop app. For each crypto asset that you want to manage, you need to install its app on the Ledger Hardware Wallet. I already have the Bitcoin app installed. You can do this for any token by clicking on the Install button on the right. The next step is to add an account. They are just like the accounts you have in the bank and you can have multiple accounts for the same crypto token. You can click the add account button directly here or go to the accounts tab and then add an account from there. Next, it will ask to open the app corresponding the crypto from the device. We go to the device and simultaneously press the left and right button to open the token app in the wallet. Now the app is ready on the device to receive tokens. Now get back to the desktop app and give any name for the account. I'll keep it as Bitcoin 2. Click on add account and finally done to finish the account creation process. You can always see a summary of all your accounts on the accounts tab. Now we need to get the receiving address of this account to send your tokens. So select the account, click on the receive button and then click on continue. Now the desktop app will show you the receiving address and ask you to verify the same on the device. Copy this by clicking on the copy button nearby. Then head to the device and then compare and verify the address shown on both the device and the desktop app. Next step is to log into your exchange and send the coins to this address. I will show how it's done on Coinbase and Binance, but as I said, the procedure is similar for any other exchange. Log into the Coinbase account and then from the assets page, click on the send receive button on the top. Select the crypto from the drop down list and the next step would be to enter the number of coins or the corresponding amount you want to send. If you are transferring for the first time, I suggest to do a test run. Like transfer a small amount and then once the funds are successfully received in your wallet, then send the remaining ones. Now I will initiate a transfer of around 20 euros. Now on the to section, paste the address we already copied and then click on continue. You will see a summary of the transfer with the current network fees. You can watch this video to learn a little hack on how to transfer coins without paying the huge transfer fees associated with some coins. Click on send now and your coins are on the way to the hardware wallet. To do this with Binance, you should go to the Fiat and Sport page in your Binance account. Click on the withdraw button on the top and go to the withdraw crypto option. Select the coin you want to move to your hardware wallet and paste the address you copied from the Ledger Live app to the address field. Now enter the amount you want to transfer and click on withdraw button to transfer your funds successfully. This could take a few minutes to hours based on the coin and the network you are working with. Once the transfer is verified in the blockchain, you can see the tokens on the account section in the Ledger desktop app. To do this from mobile, open the Ledger Live app and then pair your device with Bluetooth. Once you have connected to the device, then go to the wallet tab to see your accounts exactly like in the desktop version. Click on account of the token you want to receive and then the receive button to show the receiving address. Now verify this address on the hardware wallet and copy it by clicking on the copy button. If you're working with the same account, then this address will be the same as in the desktop version. Now go to the Coinbase app, click on send, select the coin you want to send and then paste the copied address in the to field. Now enter the desired amount and click preview to see a transaction summary. Click on send now to successfully send the token to your hardware wallet from the Coinbase app. Similarly, to transfer crypto from Binance to your Ledger wallet, open the Binance app on your phone and then go to the wallet tab. Now click on the withdrawal button and move to the crypto tab. Search for the crypto you want to transfer, 
enter the address and the amount and then click on withdraw to complete the transfer and after some time go back to your ledger mobile app and then check your account to see the tokens received that's it you have successfully transferred crypto from your exchange to your own custody just make sure to store your recovery phrase somewhere safe if you got some value from this video then give it a like and think of subscribing to the channel until i see you with another video have a wonderful rest of the day and bye